play a game called April Snack Bag. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that was a <laughs> game. She just came up with that I one just right, did now. right now. Right <laughs> now, actually. Really silly. April Snack Bag. So, um, one of the things that Brittany and I love to do is try different snacks. We love some, snackies. Some from potato chips. Like, if there's a new potato chip flavor, we're gonna get it. Here's a hot it. take. She's got a hot take on it. American potato chip companies are cowards. There, I said it. Because they think that a very inventive chip flavor is three different types of barbecue. Mm -hmm. What even is that? Sweet, tangy, and hot. Yeah, and it's so <laughs> stupid. Or like, ooh, a cracked black pepper. Ah. Well, do you like what Lays is doing right now? I got those Funyun chips. Okay, so. And then <laughs> there's Funyun flavored potato chips, Cool, cool Ranch, Ranch Dorito, Dorito flavored potato chips, and Cheeto flavored yeah, potato I chips. Yeah, I mean, I'm <laughs> confused. Honestly, there are a lot of different things I mean, that Lays could have done. I like them. I liked it fine, but like, I also like Funyuns. <laughs> so duh, of course. Well, there's like pretty it. much sour cream and onion potato chips. Well, yeah, with more, like they just turn up the volume on the onion. <laughs> anyway, I don't. I think that I mean, whenever you go to like, um, to like the Hyundai um, Korean store that we yes. have here on Decker, mm -hmm. um, or even when you go to um, the Thai grocery store on St. Andrews Road. Oh, or I the, haven't been there. It's, it's very small, but it's really good. Or mm -hmm. the Pan-Asian grocery store mm -hmm. that you can go to on St. Andrews. I mean, the chip flavors are amazing. All right, the one that I liked at the Korean was the um, the honey potato chips. <gasps> the honey butter. Oh, honey butter potato chips. They're so good. Now, it's not, it says real butter. It's not a real butter, mm. and it also caused me to break out in hives. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> it's probably it was like really good. what they call the movie theater butter. Mm -hmm. The popcorn butter, right? It's the but it tasted buttery. It is so, that is a good mm -hmm. chip. Yeah, it's a good Ooh, chip. that's a good chip. Mm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's well, a hot take, and so. not everybody has to agree. So, we like to try different snacks, we like to go to places, um, Aldi and Lidl have some interesting things, um, your, your grocery stores, they're not run the mill, any of the international, international ones, groceries, yeah. uh, we've been to the Mexican grocery before, mm -hmm. um, the, some of the stuff is from the Publix, off of Harbison? Yes. Because they have a nice little international section. Their international section is a little mm -hmm. better than like my public. I live in, yeah. in the Rosewood area. Mm -hmm. Our Publix is a, is pretty banal. I mean, it's pretty bland. Or you live where I do and you got food lying. Yeah. I mean, I could go a little farther. Mm -hmm. But so, but we happen to be out around that area and picked up some things. <laughs> I've, I've got something I've been saving for you for weeks. For weeks? For weeks. Oh, so I can't wait. I've just been waiting to be able to sit down with you and eat chips. Mm. So, all I'm right. I'm excited about this. Take the first thing. Get in there. What do we have? Oh, okay. <gasps> so, Pickles. these are pickled peaches. Pickled peaches? In, um, Shall I get a fork? Yes. Okay. I forgot to get the fork. But these, I've, I've been holding on to these. They're they're still they're they're still good for a long time. They're not past their expiration, so I haven't been holding on to them that for that long. But these are called pickled pink. They're natural. Um, I grabbed a lot. Pickled peaches. We have a lot of things to fork. These are gluten. <laughs> these are gluten free. Because they and they um, they're also pickled for a purpose. They support. Hunter's Hotline, a nonprofit organization that provides confidential hotlines to schools and raises community issues affecting our youth. Oh, that's amazing. So, Where'd you get these? I think I actually got these at Walmart. Cool. But well, let's um, get after it. But I've been saving the pickled peaches so for Is you to try. Is this the thing? Huh? Is this the week long thing? No, this one I just I remember that I had them. All right. But they've got hot pepper flakes, so, Ooh, I'm so it might super, be a lot for. Example. I'm really nervous. I don't mind the Ooh, spicy. It's very. The you're gonna have to spicy, scoop it. See the spicy mind because it's soft because of the pickle. Should we um? Should we have gotten a little plate or something? No, we'll just do it this way, right? I'm nervous. There. All right. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Good. 
you gotta be kidding. That's really interesting. <laughs> Why is there something like minty? It's something. There's like a mint. Um, the ingredients it's almost are. Like a, well, no, it's more like a cinnamon. Well, there's spices: <clears throat> peaches, yeah. vinegar, cane sugar, salt, spices. I, I taste probably like some cloves. Yeah, definitely some like warm spice. I think we got some cloves going on. For sure. Will you hand me a piece of walnut bread, please? I will. Yes. I'm getting heartburn already. <laughs> <laughs> those are those are delightful. Mm, I'm not. They're good. Um, I love the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I will say um, the texture of a a pickled peach is not something I love. I didn't mind the texture. Because I love, I mean, I pickled I anything. I want to eat every mm -hmm. pickle ever. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm, um, I put that in the bag for pretty. <laughs> I, if, if you pickle it, I will eat it at least once. But what I love about a pickled anything, a pickled something, is like mm -hmm. the crunch mm -hmm. of okay. a good pickled something, you know? That is a delightful flavor. And the, the cinnamon yes. and clove. Mike, you put that in ice cream? Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on a nice vanilla. I love it. I would give it, um, I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10, mm -hmm. only because of the texture. Stick that to the side. Yeah, um, sure. Why don't we make That's homemade, tasty. why don't we make a homemade ice cream with that? Love it. All right, we'll do it. that. All right. Ooh. Oh. Okay. This. <laughs> This is um this was from the Publix aisle. This is called Disney. Okay. They're flavored wheat snacks. I think they're from Israel. Ooh. Um flavored um <laughs> vaguely flavored? Um yeah, this is a product of Israel. Cool. But I've got this one because the flavor was Rosh Hashanah was yesterday. Oh. Yeah. I got this one because the flavor is Smoky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I let's thought, get into great. it. Smoky. Mm -hmm. I love that. Put a piece of bread there. All right. Oh, they're, they're so cute. They're little wheat. They're wheat. Look at them. They're like little little round boys. Little wheat rounds. All right. All right. Let's get these. I'm not mad at that. Um, I mean, I could have some more salt. Yeah, definitely. I was thinking the same thing. Um. <laughs> Yeah, the salt is lacking. The smoke is there. But the smoke's there. The smoke is there. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. I like it. Um, now I wouldn't. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. I don't think this is a, a snacky that I would choose, but if it was on the table, I'd eat it. Hmm. You think? Maybe we could crunch these up and put them in a casserole. Have we done a casserole at pork? Good. This would go good on a pork cast. Pork shepherd pie. Mmm. Okay. Without the vegetables. Yeah, oh, obviously. Mm. But pulled, <laughs> pulled pork. Ooh, a nice little pulled pork. Pulled pork mm. and then casserole. Okay, yeah. yeah. We can do that. Cool. Thank right. you, Ble Beastly. Beastly. Shouts out to our Israeli fans. Ooh. <gasps> okay, this was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is cheese. And pumpkin it's spice cheddar. because it's pumpkin spice season is yeah, upon us. It is. And whether we want it or not. Why not? I love it. It exists, so let's yeah. try it. Let's see. It is pumpkin spice it's cheddar. A cheddar. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. Oh great. Okay. That won't be terrible. No. This looks like it's gonna crumble, which is why I'm gonna get the top. Okay. That's, it's very thin there. My little cheese wedge. Nice. Pumpkin spice cheese. Cheers. Here we go. Oh, that crumbled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I'm having a hard time with this one. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I'm having and a real I'll, hard. And I'll tell you. I'm why. having a really hard time. I mean, it's to me, it's not offensive. Well. But what it is, is my brain isn't prepared because cheddar is a salty cheese, mm -hmm. not just a savory cheese. Like a cheddar is a salty cheese. 
But it's just salty. Really to you? I think it's salty. It's the, oh. the texture's off. The texture's the terrible. The texture is really off. The awful. texture is a nightmare. Um. Mm-hmm. I mean, the more I, I eat it, it's not offensive, but it's not. No, it's definitely not offensive. There is visible cinnamon mm -hmm. on the top of this. See, that's too much. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This isn't it. Now, uh -huh. a pumpkin spiced cream cheese, duh. But you don't need to do that to cheddar. Um, no, no thank you. we didn't need to do it to cheddar. Mm -mm, I don't like that. So, <laughs> get another one. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. Ooh, Hanzu ginger. All right, Ooh. this was from Aldi. And yeah, it's a it's a ginger flavored chip. We haven't Hanzu tried that. Hanzu ginger. Yeah. Hanzu ginger. Yeah. And so this is Journey to Japan. You, I'd love to. Let's take a journey. You don't mind if I do. All right. Get your ginger chip. Mm. How's it smelling? Like chips. <laughs> Not really like ginger. Oh, I smell I it. smell the ginger when it's on my nose. Got it. Cheers. Oh, I'm a fan. Actually, yeah. I'm a huge fan of that. I didn't think I would like it. But, but Ponzu? So Ponzu is, um, it's a citrus fruit. Um, I like it. I think it's, mo it's more like a mellow lime, if I'm not mistaken. Ponzu. Mm -hmm. And just that little bit of acid mm -hmm. really does the trick for the for the ginger. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. That one exceeded expectations, but this is the one I've had for a oh. couple weeks. Because mm. like I can't eat this until I'm with Brittany. This is really good. Mm -hmm. That's a good chip. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That's good. Well, we can come back to that one. Mm -hmm. We will. Mm. That's good. We've had these. Yeah, but the dragon fruit. I wanted to try it again. I was watching a video, Bon Appetit, with Brad, oh. who's fun and great. Yeah. But he was, they were eating different fruits, and uh, Zach and Kara and I, we just ate those rambutans. Those are like little- I love little rambutans. They're, they're really they're good. They're very good. This, whenever we had this before, it's it's a refreshing, it was refreshing, but a it's little exciting. lackluster. Yeah. But it looks- Beautiful though. It looks really pretty. Beautiful fruit. Which side do you want? It doesn't matter. You don't want. How much are you going to eat? <laughs> I mean, I can- I can knock out as much as I need to. Cheers. Oh, I like- it's like having a little cup. I know it is. It's so nice. Ooh, wait. That's kind of sweet. Mm-hmm. I think this one's better than the one that we had. Yeah. A few years ago. Right. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, the one that it's we had is refreshing. Was not sweet at all. There wasn't a hint of sweet. I didn't show you mm. the white inside in case you haven't mm. ever seen inside of a dragon. This one's juicier too. Mm -hmm. mm. It's kind of like eating a little sorbet. Oh, I really, really like this. Mm -hmm. I love fruit. Mm -hmm. Um, I love. Anytime I travel, the only thing I really want to buy from street vendors is whatever fruit they're selling. Mm. That is tasty. Wow, that's good. Mm. We'll come back to them. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Mm. Hopefully I don't have those little seeds in my teeth. <laughs> Let's see what we got No, here. this is more fruit. Ooh. Yeah, it's right because I, I just washed them right before you came over. Golden berries. Golden berries. I've never had golden berries. They're supposed to be a superfood. Yeah. So they're a little, there. They look like lemon drops. So interesting. Are I, they like goji berries? I don't. I don't know. I found them at Lidl. They said they're superfood. Wonder if they have a pit. I don't know. We're about to find out. I think you just eat the whole thing, right? I don't know. Cheers. Cheers. They're a little bit sticky. No pit. Mm. They're tart. They are tart. Yeah. But I like good. them. I like them too. They're super food. Yeah. So, mm. they got a little bit of a... Mm. Some citrus taste to Yeah, I was going to say it's a bit acidic. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, those are good. I like them. It's a little berry. Yeah. Super food. It's a product of Colombia. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to our Colombian friends. Mm -hmm. Do you have any Colombian friends? Um, I did before. Ooh. One time I ended up having, when I worked in campus ministry, as an international minister, yeah. I 
got roped into making an authentic Colombian meal for our big, we had a weekly international ministry, there were some girls from Colombia, and they said all it is is beans. It was, it was not just beans. Sure. A few days before they said, those call our mothers. <laughs> and so then, but then I ended up having to Google it, but they said I did great. The only thing I didn't have to make was the arepas. Somebody else made the arepas, but I did like, I was up till 3 a.m. after soaking beans, yeah. and, like, mixing them, putting plantains in it, all kind of stuff. But it got good reviews from the Colombians. Well, that's excellent. Well, these from Colombia got good reviews. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is kind of heavy. Okay. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're wine gummies. Wine gummies. <laughs> from, they're Great British Sweets. Yeah, this is from the Publix. I think um, I've had these before, but I couldn't remember. Is this one that we can just do that or no? I don't know. But they're supposed to be, they're not actually made with wine. They may contain wheat though. Mm hmm Here, so not gluten free. They smell like wine. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just okay with it. Okay with it. Yeah. What if else? you want a gummy that's not too sugary. Mozart pralines. Yeah. Not these. 